All right, guys. Uh, starting off today with uh, a hatchet. No name. Looks like it's forged. It's it's got. At first, I thought it was rust pitting, but it's not. It's uh, it's just the way it's made. I can't, I don't see a name anywhere, but look what someone did. And I guess getting it on, when they put it on, they split it. Luckily for me, I found a local store here in town. He had a gold mine of these hatchet and hammer handles that hadn't gone up in price. So I was gonna work on this today. I like my hatchets. why or who this is about as redneck you now this is redneck this is white trash right here this is some idiot didn't know what even when I didn't know what I was doing I knew this wasn't smart yeah, at least they use galvanized nails I guess Shame because I like the handle. I like the feel of this little short handle. Locally, I couldn't find any though. Man. Take it out by hand. Yep. Oh man. No way to sell it. Oh, they beat the they beat the wood shim down in. They beat it down so far, pushing them nails in, they split the wood. That's what caused it. out of there because that handle's not any good anyways. Well that stinks. For someone that didn't know what they were doing, if they'd have asked someone or just tried to look it up or something, hmm. that's no good. I'm not going to, uh, I think I'm just going to put this on the wire wheel because it looks like it's painted black. Otherwise, it's not in bad shape. It's got a nick right there. Yeah, let's put it on the wire wheel and see what we come up with. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming on this ax head here. Ax hatchet head. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some, some trimming on this. To make it work, it ought to, it's actually too big. Oh well, it's all I could find, you know. Sometimes you just can't get what you want. Man. You know, this might be a good candidate for wiring this up. There's another nail. thing. I keep thinking I can save this axe handle, but sometimes stupid Oklahoma winds blowing hard again. It's a different nail. Ugh. 
That's it is a different nail. It's a bigger nail. Yeah, that's what they did. They knocked the shim down too far in the. Uh, they caused it to split. Well, heck. hang on. I want to look at this. See if it's working time. It's a little longer. It might not be too bad. Boy, I'm gonna have to cut though. I'm gonna have to shape that head. I don't know if it's worth it. This is for, it says Boy Scout Hatchet. And that's about the size, but this is probably a one pound, and the one that's made for this is probably about one and a quarter, one and a half. I'm wondering, hey, I guess I can shape it. I'm sorry, I'm talking to myself, guys. I'm trying to make, think to myself, make this work. Hate to ruin a good handle. All right, let's go to the wire wheel. See what we come up with. an issue with using this Boy Scout hatchet handle and the reason being this is this is uh, old stock and I don't want to shave this down to fit this that is just gonna be too much but a pile of junk I bought a while back I got this hatchet it's hung upside down it's hung and it's too heavy for this handle. It don't feel right. So, pretty sure this will fit this handle. And after cleaning it, there is not a maker's mark. The forging on this is, you can see it's very poor. I say poor, I'm pretty sure this is an old, old hatchet head, and just, I don't know, you guys tell me, it's not pitted from rust. That's not rust pits, that's casting. It's very, very, very rough. And I can't tell if that's someone tried to 
a little bit right here on the end I can see where someone tried but the rest of this I have I don't know what they did here I don't know how they tried to sharpen it or what they did but that's it's gonna be a rough edge no matter what I do but the rest of it there's no makers mark as far as I can tell and I put it under the magnifying glass and looked it over real good it's just rough it's either a rough Chineseum or it's an old American made and man the steel is just it's good it's it's I don't know I'm not a lot I'm not good on hatchets and axes there's people out there I just like them and I've used them like I said I've I've uh, saved a life with one so I carry an axe in every vehicle well let me put this in a vise and and uh, take this head off I'm gonna try to save this handle Sorry. trying to do this the easy way, but I may just slide it up like this, open the vise, and just drop the handle down. Let's see if I can do that without busting the... get something with a broader blade. I don't want to mess up this wood too much. All right, what I'm going to do, this this is a flat edge, just a big old, look like maybe a piece of an air chisel I salvaged from something. But anyways, that's what I'm going to use. Try to beat this out. I want to save the wood. And the head was upside down. Someone primered this one. It's a newer, it's newer because you can see the grips in there. Huh. Oh well. Let's see if this handle will work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. I'm gonna clean this up. Yeah, we have a winner. This is actually going to feel better. The other one was too heavy. This is going to work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make do. Use old junk. You know what? I might go ahead and... Fork. I might clean that up with the file there. 
clean this up. I think I'm gonna paint this black again because you can see where the black paint was and it did not want to come off. I don't know what that paint is. It, it came off on the edges here, but I guess because of the way it's casted, it's stuck in them grooves pretty good. Well, yeah, heck, let's clean this up with a file a little bit and see what it looks like. I just want to see how this cleans up. bigger one. Uh, let's see. That's a gold medal. Ooh. You think you get it tight in a vise, but you don't. too much pressure. See, that's what I'm doing. I can't see if the camera catching in or not. Man, I like this gold medal file. Gold medal USA. Let me, let me try a different one. All right, this is a Nicholson double cut. Pretty sure. Try this uh, German file PFERD. I just practice. Oh, my goodness, cut. It's a finer file, straight one cut. Let's uh let's use the heavy one here. See, look at the, I thought this was damage. I don't think so. It's uh, casting, poor casting. Anyways, I'm straightening it up. And then I'll use, uh, I'll use a finer file, and get it nice and smooth and clean. I may round the edge just a tad, just to keep from chipping. Actually, this is not, if I understand it right, this is not a striking and this is more for weight for the front of the hatchet, I think. I could be wrong. Anyways, I'll get back to it and then I'll show you what I wind up with. 
changed my mind. I think what I'm going to do is clean the top of it off. see that look at the I don't know if you guys can see the the damn the inconsistencies just the the markings the casting marks I don't know if I want to take that much metal off all right I'll get back to it all right guys I ran the I ran the ends the top and the back cleaned it up a little bit. I didn't do anything with the edge, but I did this on the fiber wheel, the Scotch-Brite wheel. And I'm just gonna throw a little polish on it. That's where I'm going next. <laughs> Polished it a little bit. Didn't do a high polish. I mean, it's clean. It's it's looks. Man, the metal is good quality metal. It's it's a good metal. But if you, it, it I'm sure it's old. This is not pitting. This is just casting. It's just it's just a casting. I uh, still need to sharpen it. I'm sure this the design. This there's no maker's mark. No nothing. But man, it is. It's casted bad or rough, not bad. How about just rough, let's say that. And you can see some of the molding marks, casting marks still up here. That's not pitted, that's not damaged, that's actually casting. And really no rust to speak of, except there was on the, right on the edge. I'm not gonna paint it or anything. I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm just give it a coat of wax once I'm done. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on this handle. Somebody, oh man, I may have to put this a little bit on the belt sander just to clean that edge up right there. Or maybe a wood file. I'm not good at whittling. So I think I'll just do that. But, uh, I'm gonna scrape the handle. Scrape the. It looks like it's just bare. I don't think there's any anything on this except for just dirt. But I'm gonna scrape it down real good. And then uh, before I set it, I'm gonna sharpen the blade before I set it. So it might be easier to do without the handle on it. Let me go from there and I'll be back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's dry fit this thing. Let's see how it sets.
Looks like it's going to fit perfectly. I was just going to dry fit it, but it's going in there, so. It's, it's really tight right there. I don't know how much more I can go. Things vibrating in my hand. in there. Yeah, it's on that shoulder really good. That's about as far as I can go. Boy, this thing, when I'm hitting it with the hammer, the, the whole handle's vibrating now. Now, I gotta trim this shim. Let's see how much I need to trim off. with pencil. See if this will shape. No, I put it on the bandsaw real quick. Just trim it up real quick. Be right back. All right. All right, I got it. Trimmed up a little bit. really need to do this. Uh, nah, I'll just... Sorry guys, I can't tell what camera's angles at. That thing is spread big time. I'm gonna go ahead and put a metal wedge in there anyways. But, boy is that in there. Man. Yeah, take it to the bandsaw and I'm gonna cut that off. I'm just gonna cut it up clean with the bandsaw. I've already got it hooked up. I do it by the hand, hand saw, but 
the bandsaw is already plugged in and ready to go, so I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back and I'll show you where I drive the the uh, hope I have one, the middle shim. I have to go look. I know I got some big ones. Be right back. All right, guys. I cut the uh, end and then uh, drove the metal shim in there. I did have one. That, I'm telling you, that was as hard as I could get. I mean, it was hard to get it in there. It was bad. But, uh, you know what, before I put linseed oil on it, Shoot, I might just sharpen the blade a little bit with a file. I'll just go over the blade real quick. And I'm not really sure what to do. I'm, I, I don't know enough to reprofile the blade. So, I think I'm just gonna hit the file on both sides and just make it presentable for me. I, I really don't know enough I need to do some more reading and research on it because I don't know how to do that. All right, let's get after it. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I already made two passes. I just want to see how this file. So I think that's what I'm going to do right there. Then, maybe I can see it better this way. Hang on. Can you guess, see what I'm doing here? go the same amount strokes on both sides.
actually too sharp I think now. Alright, uh, shoot, I've got the camera on, don't I? Hang on, I'll be right back. Uh, I don't know if this is right or not, but just clean the edge up. Oh my goodness, that, I think that's too sharp. I don't know if you can get something too sharp. Hang on. Yeah, it doesn't need to be that sharp. There's no reason for it. I got most of those imperfections out of it. Look like hammer marks. I wonder if I can polish that a little bit. Hang on, I'll be right back. I want to see what it does. All right, guys, I can't stay clean to save my life. Anyways, I'm gonna pour some linseed oil on this thing. Wood is really dry. So, I'm going to do this probably five times this week because I don't, there's a day or two I will not be able to get in this shop. Drip on there, get all soaked in there. I read somewhere where on all your wood handle items that you should do it once a year on your birthday month so that's what I start doing now I've just go around and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this this can of stuff right here this stuff the can is junk it pours it's trashy I don't know who made that and look I got got a glob on there yeah, got all glob on there. But that, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in my wood vise and just put a big glob on there for a couple days, make sure it swells up real good. <laughs> I should have polished it before. Oh well, this won't be the end of the video. I thought it was, but I'll show you the end. Anyways, ah, now I can't catch anything, my hands are all, I'll come back. All right, get back, to finish this real quick. I don't know where I'm at in the video, sorry. <laughs> I get lost, start doing other things, get confused where I'm at. Anyways, I'm gonna throw a little wax on this. For now and then the next few days I'm gonna keep putting uh, uh, linseed oil on it I'm just gonna wax the, all the black some of it's coming off anyways I said it's nothing 
Yeah, it's not a super fancy hatchet, but I might have had, I don't know, $3 total between the hatchet. and I don't remember now, to tell you the truth. I know I don't have much of anything in it. I just wanted a nice hatchet, one with the, without a cracked handle on it. I don't know what I'll do with that other, that, that primer one. I guess I'll find a handle for it. But, I don't know. Not a bad little hatchet for uh, having not much money in it. Gotta be careful for that edge. It is sharp. I need to learn how to make uh, leather, what do they call that? Shoot, I can't remember what it's called now. Anyways, I need to make an end a cover for the edge of the hammer. All right, guys. Present you a nice little hatchet, or at least I think so, anyways. Think it's sharp. Well, I know it's sharp. And I realized, now I cl look close at it, there's a nick. I didn't get all that out. And there's a tiny little, just a, just a spot. I, I wedged it pretty good. I'm real happy with that. And you can see this isn't pits. This is forging marks right there. And it, there's some type of black. I thought it was paint, but I'm wondering if, if this was treated uh, with oil, uh, blackened with oil, heated and then blackened. It, it, paint strip doesn't take it off. I don't know what this black is, but it's, uh, it comes off in the grinder, but you got to really work at it. I don't care. It's a nice little hatchet. It's, uh, see how long it is. 13 inches. This is two by four and three quarter. And it's got a good feel to it. I do wish now that this handle curved just a little bit right here, had a little kick to it. Hang on, where's the other handle at? Okay, this handle has a kick out, like I don't know how, what to describe it, but it feels better in the hand. I don't know what it is about that, but the other handle's the same way. I've got another hatchet that just feels good, and, and uh, I've got a S-wing the same way. It feels really good curved like this. And then I got to look at all the others. This is a Craftsman. And then these two, it seems like all the Carpenter's hatchets have a straight handle on it. So, I don't know. Anyways, the, the feel of this handle is better than the feel of this one. When it's, when you're, this just feels good in the hand. I kind of regret putting this handle on here now, but I don't care. It, it was, it was a waste with that other hammer and it was on upside down on that other hammer anyways or the, the hammer, the other hatchet, the head was on upside down. So, I don't know, I like it. I, I, except for the feel of the handle, which that was no good anyways because of the crack. But now it's good and usable, I like it. 
All right, guys, tell me what you think. You know, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't know enough about hatchets to really uh, give any... I, I, I know from just what I've read and what I've seen, I'm not that there's people out there a whole lot more knowledgeable than I probably ever will be. But this, I just did the best I could with what little I know and what tools I have. I think I did good. Uh, the profile on it looks even. So, the only thing I, that I do not like personally is the handle. I do like the curved handle. Uh, there's, there's a lot to be said for that. It just feels good. But then again, you know, I didn't work when I was a kid. I didn't, I didn't work a lot with roofing hatchets or carpenter's hatchets that much. So maybe the straight handle like this, maybe it feels better over a, a day's worth of work where this may not feel as good. And this may give blisters more, who knows? I, I, I can't say because I didn't use, I've never used one that long. I do have one of these carpenter's hatchets at work now and I use it as a demolition hammer. It actually works really good. But, all right guys, that's enough. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what you think. Subscribe if you would. And I hope you enjoyed this video. It's probably gonna be a little long. I try not to make them long, but man, I, I hate leaving something out that somebody might see or can comment on. All right, well, y'all have a good evening, thanks.